can you tell us how you came to be a specialist in landlord insurance? So I'd already been in the insurance industry for about seven years before I joined EDM. Um, and when I started, landlord's insurance didn't really exist at the time. Um, and so I sort of you know, took on that role, didn't really know what it was or what it entailed um, and quickly fell in love with uh, the real estate industry and you know, doing landlord's insurance for them. And because it was new at the time, um, I've just sort of really learnt and, and grown with it. What was it like for you um, sitting behind, you know, one of Australia's largest landlord insurers? How did you feel when, when they announced a global pandemic? We had an influx of 10,000 new policies over the course of two weeks. That's normally what we would get over a number of months. The volume was just incredible. And then we sort of went from there. Insurance companies then started to panic. And that's where we saw people pulling products from the market, making changes to the cover. And when that started to happen, that was extremely stressful. That's probably the most stressful thing I've ever been through in my entire life. What were some of the biggest things that surprised you from an insurance perspective during the hardest months of the pandemic? The thing that surprised me the most was, well, number one, the number of people that didn't have insurance, which obviously was evidenced by this panic buying that we saw. Uh, but the other thing that really surprised me was um, how panicked the insurers were by COVID. What do you think then are the things that landlord insurance should cover at a minimum? At a minimum, they should cover um, some rent default and they should cover some damage, um, accidental damage. But do you know what the key thing, if there was just one thing that you should get cover for is absolutely liability. It's one thing that's often overlooked and it's the most expensive sort of claim. It's the most expensive thing that can go wrong is liability. And you should have 20 or $30 million worth. What are some of the most common claims that you see landlords making right now? Most common claims have always been tenant damage and loss of rent. What about some of the strangest claims that you've ever seen? The strangest claim that I've ever seen was only a couple of years ago where um, a tenant had rented a five acre property and had approval for a couple of cats, a couple of dogs, and they actually were running like an animal rescue shelter centre from the property. Um, and so it turned out that they had around 100 animals, uh, predominantly foxes and dingoes that had been rescued. What do you wish property managers knew when it comes to adequate insurance? I wish that they knew that if you have a unit or an apartment, that the strata building insurance doesn't extend to all of those responsibilities that um, are within the four walls of that unit and a, an apartment. So you need adequate insurance for that. And then on the flip side of it, I wish that they knew that just a landlord's policy isn't sufficient to extend to the building and all of those insured events like flood, like fire, like rain. Um, you need additional cover for that. <laughs>